hi guys for today's video i'm gonna make another tutorial on how to use this brother cs5055 brw project runway limited edition this time i will try my best to make it slower so most of you who are beginners gonna understand it better so we got these two cords the one is the pedal and the other one is for electricity so let me show you how to plug it in this one should go on this side like that. and this pedal will go to the back this one here and that so this should go on the floor like that. now that they are connected you can turn it on See, notice that the light is on there now let me show you how to put the needle make sure that the flat side of the needle will face at the back just like this you put it and then insert it and then twist it make sure that it's tightened here Next is we're gonna thread the bobbin. We need this empty bobbin and this thread. Okay, put this thread in here. Make sure it goes that way. <clears throat> like that. And then cover it. So, the thread. Grab the thread, the end, and then put it here. Insert it in here can't see like that and grab it again and turn it on this side and here turn it around and then insert it to your bobbin this hole on top just like that just like this and then put it here insert it here insert there and then push push like that okay and then pull this and thread hold it and start pressing the pedal then you can remove it if you want to Now when you're done, push it back here and pull it. Got the end. This one. Got it. Now insert it here. Make sure that the thread goes this way, that way. Insert it here, and then follow this arrow. And then at the end, you can pull it and cut. There you go. 
Now cover it. This one. Like that. Yeah. Now it's time to put the presser foot. I'm using this letter J. It is the most useful presser foot. Okay, this center piece, I mean this line here at the center, should go in this like curve here. So, okay, in doing that, you need to press this down, this one. Okay. Uh oh. Crooked. Now let's do it again. Nope. Just keep trying, and here you go. You got it. Okay. Now grab the end thread and then insert it here and then here. And then goes down here and turn and then move this side handle this one to make the inside up and down here like that turn it on the top of the center piece and then down and insert it to your needle let's insert it in the needle just like that and then pull the end like that one okay if you have a thread like this big one you need a stand like this I don't know I forgot what's the term but they have it in Amazon I'll put the link below so what you're gonna do is put this here and then grab the end and put it on top here because so you can adjust it you can adjust it to higher or lower so you put it in here like that and then put it here at the back and grab the end and you can put it here and then start all over going down and then insert in the needle now let me show you how to set this I usually use the number one just click this plus and then 2.5 is the size of the stitches and I think that's enough and it's letter J which means you need to match it with your presser foot which is also letter J don't use the other presser foot or else it won't work or might break your needle. Now grab the sample fabric and then if it's down, you can push it up like that and then push it down. And now you can start pressing the pedal. Press this one if you want to go backwards. And then release it if you want to go forward. Again. And then before you remove it, do it backwards again. Back stitch, I mean. push it up and to move the needle up 
you need to prep to turn this here like this you notice it's going up and then if you want to go back down again just press this like that now remove it at the back you can cut it this one here this you can pull the There you go. Now let's see. Just like that. <clears throat> the doubled one is the back stitches. Now if you want to use a different stitches, that just click the plus. This is also J. Number three. Number four. So let's do this number four. This is also also letter J, so we can use that. Okay, push this button down, and then press the pedal. This is the zigzag. Do a back stitch. Then release and forward. Back stitch again. Forward. Let's see. This is blue at the back because this is, notice, this is blue at the bottom. So the back is color blue and then the front is white. So this is the zigzag. Now let's find another one. 5G, see, you can tell what kind of that if you look at here. So number four is zigzag. This is number one. This is the normal stitches that I usually use. And then the four. And this one. I never try this. But we can try it. Number six or seven. Let me try the number seven. Oh no. I can't use it because I need to change the presser foot. I will do a different video on that. With all these stitches. So... Let's try number 8. This number 8 is letter J, so I can do that. Make sure that this center is higher, so we need to press it. This is connected to the needle. I need to pull the thread first. Push it down. And then start it. Can do back stitch again. It's hard to see. My first time using this number eight, and I've noticed that there's no way that you can do a back stitch so just go straight okay let's remove it and then cut at the side let's see wow i like this one it's so neat so that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you have questions or suggestions, please comment down below. And please like and subscribe for more tutorials.